Hey, hey. So I am popping on in today for a question with you. We're like, what are you feeding your mind? We, uh, we know that we need to feed our bodies with you know, nutritious food for good health, but what about our mind? And that's a really important question, especially now more than ever, where some, well, let's just face it, the world's kind of a little crazy right now, huh? <laughs> so I'm gonna share with you some opportunities of you know, how to um, really be clear about what you're putting into your mind. I'm gonna give you three key tips to take away today and to really tune into that so that you've got something to be able to, um, put into action immediately and to shift your vibration. So, you know, let me just sort of like check this in. Like we've got so much attention that is so much that's grabbing our attention and it's hijacking it really. And if, if we're not paying attention like we would with our diet, with our choices and nutrition about what we're choosing to put in our mouth and our body, then, you know, if we're not as discerning and vigilant in being selective about what we're putting in, like really good quality content, really good quality information, well, then that information is just going to seed and sprout some pretty negative thinking, right? Some pretty awful thoughts and potentially some negative outcomes. And, you know, worrying and fear and, and self-doubt and, and, and anxiety, that's, that's all like, you know, negative prayer. You end up focusing on what you don't want to have happen, you don't want to experience. And so all that energy just focuses, lays and focuses in on that. And then you tend to actually create that. And that's what you experience, right? It validates that, you know, the filtering and the beliefs that are going on underneath. So the mind is a bit like um, a TV with the remote, right? And, and in the sense of what you're tuning into, you've got a lot of channels to choose from. And if you're tuning specifically into watch one particular TV show, maybe it's The Bachelorette or The Bachelor or whatever it is, right? But when you're watching that, everything else is tuned out. Does it mean it's not available? No, it's there. It's in the frequency in the field if you are choosing to tune into it, right? Now, if you are choosing into that one channel and it's not really feeding your reality in the best, highest possible um, outcome with great opportunity, great possibility and inspiring you into feeling good about yourself, good about life, good about, you know, what your actions you're taking is it, you know, if it's not doing that, then that's low on the vibrational scale. And you want to be able to like a remote flick the switch. You want to tune out of those things that really don't feed your mind well and tune into the things that are really going to feed you with nourishing mental mind food food that, you know, elevates you into feeling gratitude, love, joy, excitement, feeling like, you know, you've, you've got hope and courage and you're, you're stepping into a space where you're bringing in the best version of yourself. If you're in a lower vibration, it has a negative impact, not just on your mind and your mental state with your anxiety and fear, you'll end up being contracted, you end up having less energy, you end up feeling exhausted, fearful, unsafe in the world. You will end up making really poor quality decisions because when you're in fear, you activate the fight flight system, the nervous system, and you'll end up making decisions that really, like you think they're keeping you safe, but they're maybe actually cutting you off from opportunity. So I just wanted to invite you to think about three key tips to be able to move forward as of today and really focus in on this, okay? First one, do yourself a favor, with the world gone mad right now, have some 12 hour digital detoxes, maybe from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., turn all the digital devices off, including TV, including radio, including um, social media, including your phone, including your um, even just listening to podcasts, or, unless they're really highly high level things to tune into, turn it all off. Give yourself a 12 hour break to fully recharge, reconnect, revive, go take a bath, relax, connect with yourself, connect with the family, make something really yummy to eat and really tune out so that you can out of the world and all the crazy stuff that keeps getting projected, don't be part of it, don't buy into it, just simply tune into what you are creating and bring, you, bring yourself back to center calming your system down, giving yourself the glorious opportunity of a full physical reset as well, which let's face it, when you have had a really good night's sleep and you're rested, your ability to handle stress is just, you know, supercharged. So make sure that you give yourself a 12 hour de digital detox. If not every night, make sure it's at least a couple of nights a week. The second thing is I'm going to invite you to get out a real book. If you have to go to the library, go do it or go purchase a real book or scour your own library shelves for the real book. Turn the digital devices off and actually get a real book 
that inspires you, that elevates your energy, that elevates your mind, that elevates you into thinking of new possibilities and opportunities so that you are inspired into taking new and empowered action. Fun one, right? <laughs> Seems a little archaic these days, but that's something that I want to invite you to tap back into. It works. The third one, the next step that I'm going to invite you to do is to be um, become really aware about what you're putting in. Garbage in, garbage out, right? If you eat junk food, processed foods, you're going to end up not feeling well with that, right? You get me here? It's the same thing with the mind. If you put in junk, you're going to get junk in, junk out. What you put in seeds, whatever is going to grow. And if you're going to put in seeds for weeds, you're going to end up having a whole bunch of weeds that sprout up and throttle the, the ability to thrive with a beautiful mental garden. And so you want to be really vigilant about making sure that you, what, what you're putting in is of a high caliber content. So you're listening to people on podcasts, videos, uh, reading content, listening, and turn the news off, turn the radio off, right? Turn all that junk off because it's all designed to hijack your perception and to have you bought into the whole fear mongering and you won't make any good decisions around that. You can still be in a much higher observant, high caliber state, making really high quality decisions for yourself and your family, but you'll do that better when you're in a high vibration. And the way to do that is making sure that you are feeding your mind with high quality conversations, don't be involved in conversations with anyone that perpetuates negativity. Negativity will drag you down. Is you know, have you ever noticed that even if you call someone out who's being negative, they'll go to fight tooth and nail to defend it? Maybe you've done it for yourself. We all have at times, right? But you want to make sure that you're tuning into being in conversations with yourself and with other people that is going to elevate your vibrational frequency. When you do that, the extra positive impact on that is it literally impacts your physicality. It improves your, your not just your mental state, but your immune system flourishes. Your nervous system lights up. It's excited. You have life force flow flowing through you because you're in a thrive state, not a survive state. So have these been really powerful for you to help you move forward? I really hope so. I hope that it's been of value. And if you love this and you're watching this on a replay or in YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, um, and make sure that you are getting the notifications so that you receive more content from me moving forward. And from this point forward today, I'm blessing you with love, light, and manifesting lots of magic. Go out there and be a light, be a shining light and expanded and creating new possibilities. Mwah.